Okay, the first thing, uh, I'm going to do a quick little, kind of a, a real quick little tutorial on how to use Unity. Uh, it's not going to be great, but it'll be something that at least to get you started if you haven't. You can always go to, to and download a free copy of this. It, it runs free. So what I want to do is I'm going to say new here. I'm going to create a new project, and I'm going to call it uh, uh, Funhouse. And I'm going to basically leave everything on here and say create project. Okay, so when you open Unity, it basically starts uh, pretty much like this. Let me move this around so we can see it in, the, in our view. Okay, so you've got, typically, if we go to layout, let's say, go to default layout, this is what it looks like. You've got your hierarchy over here, your, and your inspector over here, and uh, everything else is, is pretty much that. So we need to adjust this a little bit. We'll go to the window and I'm going to go in and say I need my uh, uh, lighting. Okay, here's lighting. I'm going to drag this up, stick it right there. Uh, Really easy, if I go to game object, I'm going to add a cube. So this is a one meter by one meter cube. This is, in the scene, is where you do things, like move things around using the gizmo or using the rotation. If you hold down the control key or alt key on, or alt key on the Mac, you can actually snap to different rotations. Uh, let's set up a cube and uh, move it somewhere. This is, of course, the ability to grow it. You can transform it over here to whatever size. We're going to put it in the center. We can go in here and put it in the center. Uh, I can hold down the uh, Alt key and then I can rotate around with my left mouse button. My right mouse button with the Alt key. You always keep your finger on the Alt key when you're moving. So you move the camera. So this is how that works. So orbit is uh, left mouse button. Zoom in and out is right mouse button or scroll wheel either one and pan is hold the control key down it's a middle mouse button you go back and forth so if you're going to orbit around something you may find that you know you may find that uh, oh last I should this this tool right here is kind of a is a tool that allows you just to drag stuff around so you can drag this or you can <clears throat> use that that tool to drag around you can scale it if you want uh, if you're in this mode if you're in with the gizmo and you're trying to snap something, you can actually go in here and hold the V key, the, the V, as in Victor, okay, and it'll snap it to that corner, and then you can just move it around and snap it wherever you want, wherever you want, so, this is the game, this is the camera window, right, so if I look at my camera, my, my camera here, I can move, this is the camera, you can see it's moving around, it's kind of a pain in the neck to use in that respect, but I'm going to show you a little trick on how to fix that later on, um, the other thing I'll mention is that, uh, let's move the camera over here, or actually, yeah, so if I've got a view here that I kind of like, and I want to copy it to the camera, I can say, get the camera view to show up, let's see, oh, you have to, you select the camera view, then you do game object, that's it, uh, control shift F, align with view, so that moves it over here, right, so now you have this and this, and they're, they're assigned the same, so that's, that's what we're, we're trying to do, so just, just so you know, you know, if you get this, if you're like working on an area like this, Control Shift F, uh, when you've got the camera selected over here, we'll set this. Up, we'll set this one up over here. Okay, so that's out of the box. That's some stuff that's uh, good out of the box. Now let's talk a little bit about uh, some other things. There are uh, properties, right? So if you look in, if you click on something, you're going to get this inspector. That inspector will tell you about the property of that. You've got this is it's got all this stuff on, right? So there's nothing really that that uh, we're going to talk a little bit about this later when we start setting up our scene to light. Um, oh, I know what one of the things I'll tell you was that uh, let's say that we, we take this box and move it over here, right? Way over here. And now I'm rotating, but it's out. And I want to rotate about this center. So what I do is I select it and I hit the F key. Now that is. Uh, Set it about now we're rotating about that. So select this one, hit the F key. Now, now we're rotating about that. Even if I zoom way out, I'm still rotating. So that F key is important if you wanna if you're trying to 
figure out uh, how to quickly navigate around. So those are those are some helpful helpful little little things. Um, again, if we go to the camera, Control Shift F, it gets us in the same view. Okay, so the other thing that's that's uh, uh, that's kind of nice is this little gizmo up here. So let's talk about that. So let's take uh, let's take these and let's zero out the rotations for them. Okay, so now and let's make this one really wide. There you go. Okay. So this, by clicking this, this, you're going to go to different views, right? You can see, you just keep keep going one direction, another direction. That's the top, and bottom. That's the bottom, and there's the top. So you just you keep going to go around. I'm in perspective now. You can see that I'm in perspective. In fact, I'll move this over. Uh, if I click the middle button, now I'm in uh, orthographic. And what's nice is if you use this, this this tool is really good for orthographics. Is you can move things around, you can stretch, you can stretch them, you know, like this. You can try to, you know, there's all kinds of interesting things that you can do uh, with this particular. If you hold your, if you hold the cursor just off, you get to rotate, so you can rotate. And then we can go to another view, like this view. Okay, and the same thing. So you get the idea. So. And I'm turning perspective back on. Now, now I've got a few th other things to talk about. One is this: this is the light, right? This is a, this is called a directional light. Uh, you got, you know, it just basically tells you. Uh, matter of fact, let's go. Uh, let's add a uh, plane, and I'm going to set that. If I click on this little gear over here, I can. Hit, it doesn't show you. Let's let's do this. I'll move this in a little bit. You can see it. There's a little gear over here. It says just reset. So you can reset. That'll reset whatever that object is. So it's now down at zero. Okay. And this, I want to. So I'm going to move him up so that he's pretty much sitting on that plane. So I'll just go right there. Something like that. And you can see he's got a shadow now. Move that in, move that in, zoom in on here, let's go back to perspective, and let's just move them down this way until we know that we're hanging around. Okay, so what I was going to show you is that this light allows you to hit, to basically uh, rotate. So you put your cursor over the X, Y, and Z, and we're going to change that, the, the rotation angle of that light. So this is how you edit edit fields is by not inside the field. You can type in the side of the field, but if you just put it over the Y and drag left and right, you're going to get a good chance to move things around. So, of course, Z doesn't do anything. It's just rotating in that direction. So, that's the light. Um, you've got other kinds of icons in here. You've got a you've got a camera somewhere. Uh, camera. Here it is. It's outside of the view. It's way out there. So, so let's go back in here. We'll zoom in. And rotate, and then with the camera selected, Command Shift F, you know, now the camera's a little closer in. But these big icons, you can see, get get they get kind of in the way. So if you go to Gizmos here, I like to turn off the uh, uh, Show Grid and 3D icons. So now they're still icons, but they're just little tiny ones, right? And the you can choose Selection Wire, Selection I, I like Selection Outline. If you click it, you're going to see what's selected. So uh, in more complex scenes, the wire one might be a little easier because uh, it's not quite as, as busy. I'll show you that in a little bit when we get, get there. So, really, that's about it. The last thing I'll just mention is that is I want to talk a little bit about some easier ways to manipulate both of these because different effects. Let's go into this camera and I'll show you an example. Let's go into the camera. I'm going to add a component. I'm going to add a, uh, let's see, depth of field. So, I want to see depth of Okay, so there's no depth of field because I haven't downloaded any. So let's 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 go out of here. Let's talk about that. So I go to the asset store. You got to sign in. There's a standard assets. Uh, it's got a bunch of free stuff, and there's a cinematic effects. I'm going to go ahead and import the cinematic effects one. Okay, I'm going to hit the import also. It brings everything into this scene. So there we have it. Okay, so. Okay, so let's go back to my scene. 
and let's Command C or Command D, which duplicates it, and let's move this over here, right? So we got two of these boxes, and let's kind of get, get a view that we like, something like this. Command Shift F it. Okay, so now we can basically go in the the the, uh, the depth of field. I'm focus plane. So, so the point I'm, really the biggest point I'm trying to make, and I'm going to show you, talk about this a little bit later, but is that you don't see, as you're rotating around, you don't see a lot of the focus. There's anti-aliasing, there's all kinds of stuff that you can put in here. In fact, let's, let's, uh, let's uh, now that we have depth of field, uh, let's turn it off, and let's add one more anti-aliasing, anti so you turn that on, and, uh, and what happens now is that as you rotate this, Command Shift F. This gets anti aliased. Now it's not particularly good. Uh, quality, ultra. But it's better than this. And I'll show you. There's some examples where uh, I've got even even better than uh, a better anti aliasing plugin than this. But these are just some things that come with uh, that you can download for free. So I just kind of want to to show you some of that. Um, so while we're at it, uh, I'm going to turn off the anti aliasing here too. What I want to do is. Uh, I want to show you a way to sync this window up so that it syncs up with this window, which is really, really helpful. And that's what I do is I go to the asset store and I go and I want to go and look at that. Sync. This is the one right here, and it's a it's really a good little tool. It's got a YouTube video you can watch. It's only seven dollars and forty nine cents, but I've already bought it. So I'm once you've bought it, you you it stores all your downloads. Here's me, all your downloads here, and you can just download it. And then after you download it, which I've already done, you can hit the import button, and I'm going to show you the project as it comes down. If you notice that. We've already imported this, the standard assets effects, all these ones. That was what we just imported a minute ago. So I'm going to hit this import button. And I import all this. Yes. And now it actually puts a menu up here called tools. So let's take a look at that real quick. I'm going to give you a quick demo on that. And then we're going to get to uh, photo real rendering and using SketchUp files. So. Uh, let's go to the scene and let's go to tools and I'm going to say TNG I'm going to open the GUI okay so so what we have here is we have all these little buttons right so really you know you start tracking basically you're, you're seeing what's going on over here right so if I go into this again I'm going to go to my main camera I'm going to add another component called uh, tone mapping and color grading and I'm going to basically go into the tone mapping and I'm going to make it photographic and I'm going to jack up the exposure and I got to turn this button on for it to work okay this one actually does show up in here too I, I forgot this shows up in here too but you get the idea so I can add these things I'll, I'll show you I'll talk a little more about that but uh, so that's that's one good thing I can end tracking and I can go around and I can find a shot that I like and I can basically add it, right? And then I can go over here, add another one, you know, go oops, go upside down, add a third one. And then when I'm done, all I have to do is hit one, two, or three, and I'm going to get to those. And if I say to scene cam, I'm just going to put it over here. So I go to, to scene cam here. And I can also do the opposite. I can go move this around, and I can say from the game cam. So it moves it to, so they're lined up, right? Mostly, I just like using this tracking thing. I can use this very nicely, and I get to see you. You do see a different scene on the on the on the right over here than you see on the left.